Okay, so the 53 Sea King was a pretty good success. And it got too rough out there today and the white caps are rolling in. So I got out the 1960 Evinrude electric start that I got a couple of weeks ago. And I went to give it a pull and she was resisting like crazy. So I shot some stable fogging oil up inside the cylinders and a little bit of all-purpose mixed in there too. Waited a while. Tried moving the flywheel by hand, nothing much. So I took the head right off, soaked her down good, and then I took a chunk of soft pine. You can see where the piston, it didn't, uh, didn't take a lot. This is soft pine and it didn't indent that hardly at all. Gave her half a dozen good square wraps and I was watching the teeth on the flywheel and it was it was moving. So I got it loose and after I made a complete 360 and I kept soaking it down with the clogging oil and mixing the all-purpose lubricant. I got it making complete revolutions and uh, cleaned it up wiped all the rust out put the head back on and torqued it down and then I took the compression gauge tested both cylinders at 105 <clears throat> after having it all apart <laughs> so the next step was to test the spark had no spark, I opened it up. Well, the coils were obviously the big problem, but someone had already taken the uh, points and condensers out. So I'm gonna put some new coils on it right now. Got some jungle coils. And uh, got a good set of used points off parts motor. They're better than the jungle points. I won't even use those usually. They're, they're, the tolerances are so bad on them, you can hardly get the get the uh, 20 thousandths gap right. <clears throat> so that's where we're at. Well, I got everything apart. I'm gonna degrease everything. I'm gonna soap test the top crank seal. I have those in stock for the 18 horses. And if it's blowing bubbles, I'll put a new crank seal in it while I got it opened up. Stay tuned, 1960 Evinrude 18 horse electric start. Awesome. Thanks for watching.